Next, we migrate the applications to VM, including standalone and managed instances. Now, if the application leverages Docker containers for deployment on virtual machines, migration path is pretty straightforward. Publishing containers to AWS Container Registry and accessing it via the AWS virtual machines. Alternatively, if your application does not use the container solution, depending on the application, you might need to refactor or rewrite the code based on the dependencies used by your application. For instance, take an example if you're using a Google app engine and it has a lot of SDKs dependencies for interacting with Google services and you're trying to port that application to AWS Cloud. First, you need to strategize how to migrate the application. There are multiple options out here. You can remove the SDK dependency and port the application to container and deploy it in AWS. Or use a equivalent service like uh, AWS Beanstalk where you take care of only refactoring the application and leave the infrastructure and other aspects to Beanstalk similar to App Engine. Secondly, if your solution uses EC2 instances, you need to create an AMI that contains all your application code and use that image for auto scaling. As a best practice, expose your application endpoints for periodic health check by the AWS load balancer. The endpoint would be typically the home page or maybe a simple API request that sends a successful response on execution. And finally, monitoring of the resource is a key aspect. So do capture the required metrics and set up alerts like CPU usage, number of active instances and so on based on your monitoring requirements.